Hello and welcome to the new normal with me, Steve Benequist and Scoby. Uh, this is Steve Benequist and Scoby welcoming you to the new normal. I'm sorry, hold on. I just get used to how dark it is in here. And uh, here we are, me and Scoby, and uh, we're here to welcoming. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to stop this thing. Come on. Come on! Shut up! God. Okay, hi. Uh, here we are. We're still under my bed. However, uh, we are continuing to bring you uh, this news analysis. Uh, the, the, we're talking about the new normal and the things that face us all. And uh, and uh, it's me and my Scobie butt Guillaume here. Although, although we had a talk just before we uh, got the cameras rolling and... Uh, Scoby would rather not go by that. That is from a, uh, a younger, less mature phase of his life, and uh, he says he cares a lot. Uh, uh, he cares about more than just a, um, a uh, as he put it, a traffic stopping behind. Although Scoby, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me think maybe you are still a butt man, or uh, butt Scoby, whatever you are. Anyway, all right, you say you're more mature. How old are you, by the way? That, that is a question. Now, from what I understand, and I don't mean that to be rude, but a SCOBY can be formed out of the air if you just put sugared liquid out. But you also, if you're continuously kept alive with a, you know, a, a sugary fluid, you could basically live forever. It's like, you know, like Count Dracula. So, and I, I'm sorry if that came out bad. Uh, I think Dracula's cool. Plus, uh, anyway, the, the, the kombucha you make is... Uh, delicious and pungent and nothing can take that away from you uh anyway all right so moving on we got a lot to cover we're going to talk about police violence and uh but we have some letters we got to answer so uh let's get through those quickly shall we all right first up we have uh, a mr haraku shimoda uh, in japan greater tokyo area and haraku says hey steve i totally get ensconcing yourself in your bed area but does it have to be under it I sleep on a futon uh, in the traditional style with no frame, uh, as Westerners have added, and uh, there'd be no room. Uh, do you advise me to do it anyway? Well, Haraku, thanks for writing. I would say, uh, for me, uh, I rely on the space underneath. I move around. I'm able to get a little bit of exercise. I've found some discarded non-perishable foods and even reading materials. Uh, I, uh, if it were just a mattress lying on top of me, I'd say if lying on top of the futon is working for you and your room is dark, uh, and feels secure enough, why, uh, why fix what ain't broke, you know? Also, uh, I hear that if you can get a hold of a tanuki, uh, that their, uh, large pillowy balls are very soothing, so, uh, do that if you can. All right, thank you. And next up we have, uh, a letter from Jacques in Marseille, France. Oh, it's a very uh, global day. Jacques says, hey, you, the one in the jar. I think he's talking to you, Scobie. Uh, are you the same butt Guillaume who used to hang around the Chat Noir 1998-99? You stole my girl and you owe me 10 euros. I demand you give me back one or the other. Toot sweet, Jacques. <laughs> Scobie, that's a little serious. Do you think, uh, think it's the same but Guillaume? No? Well, I'm sorry, Jacques. Uh, it seems you have a case of mistaken identity. Okay, thank you for writing, though, and good luck getting the girl or the 10 euros. And lastly, we have a letter from Pat in Flat Plains, Kansas. Thanks, Pat. And, uh, whoops, that's just about all the time we have. I'm sorry, uh, police brutality will have to wait. Ah, uh, I'm going to turn the lights out and uh, hide under my bed. Thank you. Oh, if it ain't new, it ain't normal.